Welcome back to the channel. Today we will explore actresses who are currently suffering. Without further ado, let's get started. Gina Davis, known for her roles in iconic films like Thelma and Louise and Beetlejuice, graced the silver screen with her radiant smile and unique blend of strength and vulnerability. Her portrayal in The Accidental Tourist even earned her an Academy Award. However, in the early 2000s, Davis's on-screen appearances became less frequent, leaving fans wondering about her whereabouts. Yet, Davis didn't vanish. She embarked on a new journey. Transitioning from actress to activist, she became a prominent advocate for gender equality in media. By using her platform to champion this important cause, Davis demonstrated that Hollywood can be a springboard to even greater endeavors. While fans may miss seeing her on the silver screen, Davis continues to inspire as she plays in a league of her own. Linda Fiorentino, renowned for her roles in Men in Black and The Last Seduction, captivated audiences with her versatility in the 90s, from the determined government agent in Men in Black to the seductive Femi Fatale in The Last Seduction, Fiorentino's performances showcased her ability to portray complex characters convincingly. However, after her appearance in Men in Black, Fiorentino gradually withdrew from Hollywood, with her acting roles becoming increasingly scarce. Today, she leads a quiet and private life, away from the public eye. While her absence may leave fans longing for her on-screen presence, Fiorentino's decision highlights the varied career paths available in the entertainment industry. Despite stepping away, her impactful performances continue to resonate, and her contributions to cinema remain significant. Amanda Bynes soared to stardom at an early age, showcasing her prodigious talent from childhood roles to leading parts in major films. With her own show and memorable performances in movies like What a Girl Wants and She's the Man, she became synonymous with teenage dreams and aspirations. However, in a surprising turn of events, Bynes announced her retirement from acting in 2010 following her role in Easy A. Preferring to focus on personal growth and mental well-being, she took a step back from the glitz and glam of Hollywood. Enrolling in the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, Bynes embarked on a new journey in the fashion industry, carving out a niche for herself beyond the confines of the silver screen. While her absence may be felt in cinema, her decision to prioritize her health is commendable. Gene Hackman, from the intensity of Crimson Tide to the tranquility of retirement. Have you ever stumbled upon the French Connection or Mississippi burning during a late-night TV binge? If so, you've witnessed Gene Hackman in his element, the gritty, tough-as-nails actor who could breathe life into complex characters like no other. With a career spanning five decades, Hackman left an indelible mark, portraying memorable roles from the hard-nosed cop Popeye Doyle to the villainous Lex Luthor, to the lovable Royal Tenbaum. His powerful performances earned him two Academy Awards, a testament to his talent. Today, the retired legend resides in Santa Fe, New Mexico, far from the glitz of Hollywood, embracing the serenity of his sunset years. While we may miss his familiar face on the silver screen, his stunning body of work ensures his legacy endures. Enter Halle Berry, renowned not just as a Bond girl, but also as Dorothy Dandridge in introducing Dorothy Dandridge, a standout in Monsters Ball, and a force to be reckoned with as both Storm and Catwoman. However, amidst her illustrious career, Halle faced a formidable adversary type 1 diabetes. During the filming of Living Dolls in 1989, Halle Berry fell into a diabetic coma at the age of 22 due to her condition. Her subsequent journey has been one of resilience and determination. Embracing a rigorous high-fat, low-carb keto diet, she credits this lifestyle change 
with not only aiding her weight loss post-childbirth, but also slowing down her aging process. In a surprising turn, Hal claimed to have weaned herself off insulin, a feat medical experts questioned, suggesting a misdiagnosis and a more likely diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. While type 1 diabetes is deemed incurable, Hal's assertions spark debates. Nonetheless, whether she achieved a reversal or not, her unwavering spirit and commitment to her health continue to inspire admirers worldwide. Amy Locaine, once a sought-after actress, now grapples with the stark reality of incarceration. At 52, her glory days feel like a distant dream. Having once illuminated the silver screen alongside luminaries like Johnny Depp and Brendan Fraser. However, in 2006, she made the life altering decision to step away from the spotlight in favor of matrimony. Tragedy struck on June 27, 2010, casting a dark shadow over her life. Amidst a night of celebration, she made the ill fated choice to drive home under the influence, resulting in a devastating collision that claimed a life and left another profoundly injured. Subsequent investigations revealed her staggering level of intoxication, leading to charges of aggravated manslaughter and assault by automobile. In December 2010, legal proceedings commenced, culminating in her conviction in November 2012. Initially sentenced to three years, public outcry prompted a reassessment of her punishment. As a result, she was resentenced to five years in February 2019, a term later extended to eight years in September 2020. Christina Applegate, a name synonymous with versatility and talent. Known for her roles in Married with Children, Jesse, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, and Sweet Charity, she boasts an impressive seven primetime Emmy nods and four Golden Globe nominations. In 2008, news of her breast cancer diagnosis rocked the world, leading to a courageous decision to undergo a double mastectomy. Fast forward to August 2021, Christina took to Twitter to reveal her battle with multiple sclerosis, which impacted her performance on the set of the third season of Dead to Me. Production of the Netflix dramedy came to a halt for five months. Multiple sclerosis affects the brain, spinal cord, and optic nerves, causing symptoms like paralysis, memory issues, mood swings, numbness, pain, and fatigue. Christina admitted to ignoring warning signs like weight gain, tiredness, sleepiness, numbness, and balance issues. In a recent interview with Variety, she hinted that Dead to Me might mark her final appearance on the big screen. Jamie Lynn Sigler, best known for her role as Meadow Soprano in the iconic show The Sopranos, has faced a formidable foe off-screen multiple sclerosis. Diagnosed at the young age of 20, she grappled with the devastating impact of this disease on her life and career. In 2000, while filming Campfire Stories, Jamie Lynn experienced sudden paralysis lasting days, initially attributed to Lyme disease, but later correctly diagnosed as multiple sclerosis, exacerbating life's challenges. Since her diagnosis in 2002, Jamie Lynn, now a mother of two, has embarked on a global quest for effective treatment options, refusing to surrender to the disease's grip. In a recent podcast, she shared her determination to find ways to live better with her condition, driven by her love for her children and her unwavering dreams and aspirations. As we delve into the stories of resilience, Jamie Lynn Sigler's journey stands as a testament to the indomitable human spirit, confronting adversity with courage and tenacity, Michael Scoofling, the heartthrob known for his role as Jake Ryan in 16 Candles, was poised for a thriving Hollywood career with his good looks and charm. Despite captivating audiences in films like Mermaids and Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken, Scoofling made a surprising decision to step out of the spotlight. 
Preferring a quieter life, Scoofling relocated to Pennsylvania with his family and embarked on a new journey crafting handmade furniture. His transition from heartthrob actor to successful craftsman reflects the unpredictability of one's path to fulfillment. Although fans may long for his on-screen presence, Scoofling's story serves as a testament to the diverse avenues to happiness. While 16 Candles may have marked the end of his acting career, Scuffling discovered a renewed sense of purpose. Sean Connery, the epitome of suavity and charisma, forever etched in our minds as the original James Bond. It's fascinating to think that this iconic figure, synonymous with Seven, once worked as a coffin polisher. But fate had grander plans for him, and Hollywood beckoned. From the debonair spy to Indiana Jones's wise father, Connery's range was unparalleled. Who can forget his Academy Award-winning performance in The Untouchables or his portrayal of the immortal swordsman in Highlander? Connery was a master of his craft, seamlessly slipping into any role he was given. In 2003, tired of the Hollywood circus, Connery bid farewell to the silver screen, opting for a quieter life in the Bahamas. Though we may not see him in new roles, his legendary performances continue to captivate audiences ensuring that the man with the golden ears lives on in our hearts and on our screen. Rick Moranis, the actor who shrank out of the Hollywood spotlight. You might say he honey, he shrunk himself from the industry that knew him from Ghostbusters, Spaceballs, and Honey. I shrunk the kids. Moranis's charmingly nerdy characters and impeccable comedic timing made him a fixture in 80s and 90s cinema, delivering one hit after another. Then, in 1997, Moranis surprised everyone by stepping away from the limelight. Why would a successful actor do that? Well, Moranis had a heartfelt reason to focus on raising his children after the tragic loss of his wife to cancer. In a heartwarming twist, he made a brief return in a 2020 commercial alongside Ryan Reynolds. But despite whispers of a comeback, Moranis continues to enjoy retirement. While fans may miss his charming presence on screen, his decision is undeniably admirable. Meg Ryan, the rom-com darling of the 1990s, has gracefully transitioned into a life of tranquility after the whirlwind of fame. With her memorable performances alongside Tom Hanks in classics like You've Got Mail, she solidified her status as the queen of romantic comedies during that era. However, Ryan's talent transcended the genre, as demonstrated by her compelling portrayals in dramatic films such as Courage Under Fire and When a Man Loves a Woman. Today, Ryan has redirected her focus behind the camera, delving into the realm of directing with projects like Ithaca. Alongside this new creative pursuit, she finds fulfillment in motherhood and exploring various avenues of personal growth. Despite her reduced visibility on screen, her enduring influence on the landscape of romantic comedies remains palpable. Selma Blair's career trajectory, which boasted significant roles in films like Brown's Requiem and Cruel Intentions, took a sharp turn when she confronted a severe health challenge. Before August 2018, Blair grappled with puzzling symptoms, initially dismissed as minor or psychological. These symptoms, including memory lapses, balance issues, and speech impediments, hindered her professional and personal life. After years of uncertainty, Blair received a life-altering diagnosis in August 2018 multiple sclerosis MS. Multiple sclerosis, an autoimmune disease affecting the central nervous system, disrupts the coordination between the brain and body, leading to a range of symptoms, from mild to severe. Despite the daunting prognosis and absence of a cure, Blair courageously shared her multiple sclerosis journey with the public. Through her memoir released last year, she offered insights into her experiences providing solace and understanding to others grappling with multiple sclerosis.
Christina Applegate, a name synonymous with versatility and talent. Known for her roles in Married with Children, Jesse, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, and Sweet Charity, she boasts an impressive seven primetime Emmy nods and four Golden Globe nominations. In 2008, news of her breast cancer diagnosis rocked the world, leading to a courageous decision to undergo a double mastectomy. Fast forward to August 2021, Christina took to Twitter to reveal her battle with multiple sclerosis, which impacted her performance on the set of the third season of Dead to Me. Production of the Netflix dramedy came to a halt for five months. Multiple sclerosis affects the brain, spinal cord, and optic nerves, causing symptoms like paralysis, memory issues, mood swings, numbness, pain, and fatigue. Christina admitted to ignoring warning signs like weight gain, tiredness, sleepiness, numbness, and balance issues. In a recent interview with Variety, she hinted that Dead to Me might mark her final appearance on the big screen. Vanessa Williams, known not just as a former Miss America, 1984, but as a multi-talented artist in her own right, has gracefully navigated the spotlight for decades. However, despite her immense success, she finds herself unexpectedly included in a video highlighting actresses currently facing personal challenges. While her triumphs in music and acting have garnered her prestigious awards like Grammys and Emmy nominations, her battle with type 1 diabetes remains a silent struggle. Diagnosed at a young age, Vanessa has confronted this autoimmune disease with resilience, perhaps drawing strength from her family's history with it. Unlike some celebrities who openly discuss their health battles, Vanessa has chosen a more private approach. Yet, her commitment to managing her diabetes is evident through her lifestyle choices, emphasizing moderation and occasional charitable gestures towards diabetes-related causes. Despite her remarkable achievements, Vanessa Williams reminds us that success doesn't exempt anyone from life's health challenges. Angelina Jolie, renowned for her iconic performances in films like Lara Croft Tomb Raider and Maleficent, has undergone a notable shift in her career trajectory. In a candid interview with Frances Dandy magazine, she revealed her genuine passion for working behind the camera. This change was deeply influenced by a personal revelation following her mother's passing, where she realized the unfulfilled acting aspirations her mother harbored. Consequently, Jolie's focus has shifted towards directing and producing films that address critical social issues, allowing her to channel her creativity into meaningful storytelling endeavors. While she still occasionally engages in acting roles, her primary commitment now lies in directing, enabling her to make a profound impact as a storyteller while pursuing her artistic vision. Jack Nicholson, his infectious smile transcending the silver screen, forever immortalized by his iconic line, here's Johnny from The Shining, Nicholson's illustrious career spans a spectrum of intensity and acclaim, marked by unforgettable performances and numerous awards. From his portrayal of the psychotic villain to the endearing lead, Nicholson's versatility knows no bounds. In 1989's Batman, he redefined the role of the Joker, setting a standard that still reverberates. Despite earning 12 Academy Award nominations, Nicholson gracefully stepped back from acting in 2010. Yet, his Hollywood legacy continues to inspire, his indelible mark on the industry evident in our shared cultural memories. Nicholson's enduring impact, characterized by his infectious charm and undeniable charisma, ensures his place among the pantheon of cinematic greats. Steve Guttenberg the comedic force behind Police Academy's officer, Mahoney. If those words, Mahoney, report to my office right away ring a bell, you're likely a fan of the Police Academy series. Guttenberg's charming smile and quick wit made Officer Mahoney a household name in the 1980s. 
But his talent wasn't confined to police academy. From three men and a baby to cocoon, Guttenberg's lighthearted comedic style endeared him to audiences, making him a box office darling. However, after a string of flops in the late 1990s, Guttenberg slowly faded from the limelight. Interestingly, he's also found success as an accomplished author and philanthropist an unexpected turn, perhaps. Guttenberg's journey teaches us that even after graduating from the Hollywood list, there are myriad ways to keep the spotlight shining. Cameron Diaz, the beauty who gracefully retired beyond the glamour of Hollywood. Remember the blonde bombshell who captured Jim Carrey's heart in the mask? That's none other than Diaz. From charming audiences and rom-coms like There's Something About Mary to Kicking Butt in Charlie's Angels, she epitomized female stardom in the 90s and 2000s. But Diaz's talent extended far beyond the silver screen. Who could forget her captivating performances in My Best Friend's Wedding and being John Malkovich. Despite her star power and successful career, she bid adieu to acting in 2014 to explore new ventures and focus on her personal life. Today, Diaz thrives as an author, wine entrepreneur, and proud mother. She's found fulfillment beyond the glitz of Hollywood, proving that life offers much more than box office success. Vanessa Williams, known not just as a former Miss America, 1984, but as a multi-talented artist in her own right, has gracefully navigated the spotlight for decades. However, despite her immense success, she finds herself unexpectedly included in a video highlighting actresses currently facing personal challenges. While her triumphs in music and acting have garnered her prestigious awards like Grammys and Emmy nominations, her battle with type 1 diabetes remains a silent struggle. Diagnosed at a young age, Vanessa has confronted this autoimmune disease with resilience, perhaps drawing strength from her family's history with it. Unlike some celebrities who openly discuss their health battles, Vanessa has chosen a more private approach. Yet, her commitment to managing her diabetes is evident through her lifestyle choices, emphasizing moderation and occasional charitable gestures towards diabetes-related causes. Despite her remarkable achievements, Vanessa Williams reminds us that success doesn't exempt anyone from life's health challenges. Tia Mowry rose to prominence through her role in the beloved sitcom Sister, Sister, alongside her twin sister. Their foray into music with a chart-topping single in 1992 added to their acclaim. However, Tia's personal journey took a challenging turn with her battle against endometriosis, a condition afflicting numerous women globally. The diagnosis of endometriosis came after years of enduring debilitating symptoms, including depression, infertility, and chronic pain. Despite these challenges, Tia persisted, ultimately welcoming both a son and a daughter into her life. To manage her condition, Tia pursued a multifaceted approach, undergoing surgeries and implementing significant lifestyle changes. By adopting a diet devoid of certain foods and incorporating holistic practices like yoga and meditation, she found relief. This comprehensive strategy contributed to her decade-long remission from the effects of endometriosis, inspiring others facing similar health obstacles. Toni Braxton, celebrated for her soulful melodies, boasts an impressive array of accolades, including seven Grammys, seven American Music Awards, and nine Billboard Music Awards. In 2007, rumors swirled about her battling breast cancer, though she denied it, opting for surgery to remove a benign lump the following year. Then, in November 2010, Braxton bravely disclosed her diagnosis of lupus, an incurable autoimmune disease wreaking havoc on her health. Symptoms ranged from fatigue and hair loss to chest pain and swollen joints. Despite initial predictions of needing a heart transplant and retiring from performing, Braxton defied the odds. Adjusting to her lupus diagnosis, 
Braxton embraced a plant-based diet, regular exercise, and CBD and hemp skincare products to manage symptoms. Beyond health challenges, financial setbacks loomed, with bankruptcies in 1998 and 2010 attributed to spending habits and music industry complexities. Nonetheless, Braxton's resilience shines through, her net worth now standing at approximately $10 million. Michael Skoofling, the heartthrob known for his role as Jake Ryan in 16 Candles, was poised for a thriving Hollywood career with his good looks and charm. Despite captivating audiences in films like Mermaids and Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken, Skoofling made a surprising decision to step out of the spotlight. Preferring a quieter life, Skoofling relocated to Pennsylvania with his family and embarked on a new journey crafting handmade furniture. His transition from heartthrob actor to successful craftsman reflects the unpredictability of one's path to fulfillment. Although fans may long for his on-screen presence, Skoofling's story serves as a testament to the diverse avenues to happiness. While 16 Candles may have marked the end of his acting career, Skoofling discovered a renewed sense of purpose. Sean Connery, the epitome of suavity and charisma, forever etched in our minds as the original James Bond. It's fascinating to think that this iconic figure, synonymous with Seven, once worked as a coffin polisher. But fate had grander plans for him, and Hollywood beckoned. From the debonair spy to Indiana Jones's wise father, Connery's range was unparalleled. Who can forget his Academy Award-winning performance in The Untouchables or his portrayal of the immortal swordsman in Highlander? Connery was a master of his craft, seamlessly slipping into any role he was given. In 2003, tired of the Hollywood circus, Connery bid farewell to the silver screen, opting for a quieter life in the Bahamas. Though we may not see him in new roles, his legendary performances continue to captivate audiences ensuring that the man with the golden ears lives on in our hearts and on our screen. Joe Pesci, renowned for his explosive performances and distinctive New Jersey accent, etched his name into Hollywood's history, especially with his roles in mob movies like Goodfellas, his portrayal of Tommy DeVito earned him critical acclaim, including an Academy Award. However, in a surprising turn, Pessy decided to step away from the limelight in the late 90s, opting to reduce his acting commitments and explore other interests. While he hasn't entirely disappeared from screens, Pessy's appearances have become increasingly rare, with notable reunions in films like The Irishman. Today, he seems content with his semi-retired life, finding solace and enjoyment on the serene greens of the golf course. After years of embodying intense characters, Pessy now embraces a quieter existence, savoring the peace that comes with his newfound leisure pursuits. Meg Ryan, the rom-com darling of the 1990s, has gracefully transitioned into a life of tranquility after the whirlwind of fame. With her memorable performances alongside Tom Hanks in classics like You've Got Mail, she solidified her status as the queen of romantic comedies during that era. However, Ryan's talent transcended the genre, as demonstrated by her compelling portrayals in dramatic films such as Courage Under Fire and When a Man Loves a Woman. Today, Ryan has redirected her focus behind the camera, delving into the realm of directing with projects like Ithaca. Alongside this new creative pursuit, she finds fulfillment in motherhood and exploring various avenues of personal growth. Despite her reduced visibility on screen, her enduring influence on the landscape of romantic comedies remains palpable. Gina Davis, known for her roles in iconic films like Thelma and Louise and Beetlejuice, 
graced the silver screen with her radiant smile and unique blend of strength and vulnerability. Her portrayal in The Accidental Tourist even earned her an Academy Award. However, in the early 2000s, Davis's on-screen appearances became less frequent, leaving fans wondering about her whereabouts. Yet, Davis didn't vanish. She embarked on a new journey. Transitioning from actress to activist, she became a prominent advocate for gender equality in media. By using her platform to champion this important cause, Davis demonstrated that Hollywood can be a springboard to even greater endeavors. While fans may miss seeing her on the silver screen, Davis continues to inspire as she plays in a league of her own. Shannon Richardson, a mother of five, had minor roles in TV shows like The Walking Dead, The Vampire Diaries, and Franklin and Bash. Despite harboring dreams of stardom, like many in the entertainment industry, her breakthrough came through a chilling scheme involving death threats to prominent figures. Amidst the tumult of her personal life, including multiple marriages and bitter divorces, Shannon sought retribution against her third husband. Instead of resorting to traditional means like planting evidence or violence, she devised a sinister plan. Falsely accusing her husband of sending threatening letters to President Obama, Mayor Bloomberg, and others, she orchestrated his arrest. Despite his vehement protestations of innocence, a thorough investigation ultimately revealed damning evidence implicating Shannon herself. In June 2013, she was arrested and charged. Shannon pleaded guilty in December 2013, receiving an 18-year prison sentence and a hefty fine. Kristen Kruk, once a prominent figure in the entertainment industry due to her role in Smallville, has seen a decline in relevance over the past decade. Much like Alison Mack, who shared the spotlight in the same series, Kruk is primarily remembered for her portrayal of Superman's love interest, a role she held for eight seasons. However, despite her talent and appeal, Kruk's career trajectory has been less than impressive, with only a modest number of film and television credits to her name. Crook's association with Nexium, a controversial organization, further complicates her professional standing. Seeking to address personal struggles with confidence and shyness, Crook became involved with Nexium but disassociated herself from the group in 2013. While maintaining that she did not witness any wrongdoing during her tenure with Nexium, Crook's connection to the organization has cast a shadow over her career. Despite not facing any criminal charges, Kruk has been negatively affected by her association with Nexium. Alison Mack's name became synonymous with controversy, stemming from her involvement with Nexium, a purported multi-level marketing venture that masked a sinister reality as a sex cult. Despite her recognition for roles in various media projects, such as Smallville, Mac grappled with significant self-doubt, yearning for validation in her pursuit of stardom. In 2006, her quest for success led her to Nexium, where promises of realizing her aspirations lured her into a world of darkness. By 2015, Mac ascended to the role of deputy head within Nexium, entrusted with recruiting young women for the cult's leader. These individuals endured unimaginable suffering, subjected to starvation, branding, and torture, all under the guise of empowerment. However, Mac's involvement came to a halt in 2018 when the FBI intervened, resulting in her arrest. In exchange for leniency, she cooperated with authorities, contributing to the conviction of Nexium's leader. Despite this, Mac received a three-year prison sentence. Clint Eastwood, the iconic tough guy of Hollywood, needs no introduction. Whether squinting beneath a cowboy hat or laying down the law in Dirty Harry, he epitomized the rugged hero on the silver screen. From spaghetti, westerns, to Gran Torino, Eastwood proved himself a master of his craft. 
Now, in his 90s, Eastwood has significantly reduced his acting roles, hinting at a quieter ride into the sunset. Yet, his retirement remains unofficial. While his on-screen appearances may be sparse, Eastwood continues to excel behind the camera as a prolific director. With acclaimed films like Million Dollar Baby and American Sniper, he proves that one door may close, but another opens. So, saddle up, folks, because Clint Eastwood's last ride is far from over. Who knows? We may yet witness another cinematic masterpiece from this legendary figure. Daniel Day-Lewis, the maestro of method acting, exits the cinematic stage with a performance that reverberates long after the curtains close. His name evokes awe among cinephiles worldwide. With three Academy Awards adorning his illustrious career, Day-Lewis stands as a titan in the realm of acting. Renowned for his immersive approach to roles, did you know he maintained character even between takes for my left foot? From the magnetic bill, the butcher and gangs of New York to his poignant portrayal of President Lincoln, Day-Lewis's performances are nothing short of transcendent. Each character he inhabits is meticulously sculpted with depth and empathy, leaving an indelible mark on audiences. Today, he resides in rural Ireland, far from the glare of Hollywood, indulging in his passion for crafting shoes. Jack Nicholson, his infectious smile transcending the silver screen, forever immortalized by his iconic line, here's Johnny from The Shining. Nicholson's illustrious career spans a spectrum of intensity and acclaim, marked by unforgettable performances and numerous awards. From his portrayal of the psychotic villain to the endearing lead, Nicholson's versatility knows no bounds. In 1989's Batman, he redefined the role of the Joker, setting a standard that still reverberates. Despite earning 12 Academy Award nominations, Nicholson gracefully stepped back from acting in 2010. Yet, his Hollywood legacy continues to inspire, his indelible mark on the industry evident in our shared cultural memories. Nicholson's enduring impact, characterized by his infectious charm and undeniable charisma, ensures his place among the pantheon of cinematic greats. Doris Day, the dawn after Hollywood. Qui sera sera, whatever will be, will be these words, beautifully sung by Day, seem to encapsulate her life's philosophy. An icon of the 50s and 60s, she was America's sweetheart, a dynamic force in both singing and acting. Day ruled the big screen with her wholesome image and melodious voice, starring in romantic comedies with Rock Hudson and suspenseful thrillers with Alfred Hitchcock. However, in 1973, she surprised her fans by retiring from Hollywood. Instead, she chose to dedicate her life to a cause close to her heart animal welfare. She even founded her own organization, the Doris Day Animal Foundation, using her fame for good. Though Day passed away in 2019, her legacy as an exceptional actress, singer, and compassionate animal rights activist lives on. Selma Blair's career trajectory, which boasted significant roles in films like Brown's Requiem and Cruel Intentions, took a sharp turn when she confronted a severe health challenge. Before August 2018, Blair grappled with puzzling symptoms, initially dismissed as minor or psychological. These symptoms, including memory lapses, balance issues, and speech impediments, hindered her professional and personal life. After years of uncertainty, Blair received a life-altering diagnosis in August 2018 multiple sclerosis MS. Multiple sclerosis, an autoimmune disease affecting the central nervous system, disrupts the coordination between the brain and body, leading to a range of symptoms, from mild to severe. Despite the daunting prognosis and absence of a cure, Blair courageously shared her multiple sclerosis journey with the public. Through her memoir released last year, she offered insights into her experiences 
providing solace and understanding to others grappling with multiple sclerosis. In contrast to Vanessa Williams, Selena Gomez has been exceptionally candid about her lupus diagnosis and every facet of her life, from the highs of career achievements to the lows of personal heartbreak. As a universally recognized figure, the former Disney child star recently etched her name in history by becoming the first woman to hit 400 million Instagram followers and breaking an impressive 16 Guinness World Record. However, Behind the glittering spotlight lies a harsh reality. Lupus has severely impacted Selena, necessitating a kidney transplant in 2017, a procedure fraught with uncertainty. Alongside lupus, Selena grapples with anxiety and depression, often susceptible to the weight of social media scrutiny. Despite her immense success, she remains sensitive to the opinions of online trolls affecting her deeply. In 2020, Selena bravely disclosed her bipolar diagnosis, shedding light on another layer of her ongoing mental health battle. Her struggles peaked in 2018 with a significant mental health crisis. Shannon Doherty, known for her roles in Little House on the Prairie and Charmed, faced a formidable opponent when she was diagnosed with breast cancer in March 2015. Undergoing aggressive treatment, including surgery, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy, she entered remission by April 2017. However, the battle wasn't over as the cancer returned in 2019, this time in stage 4, indicating its spread throughout her body. Despite the daunting prognosis, Doherty, who recently turned 52, has maintained a resilient spirit. She remains determined to fight and cherish every moment. Dowerty's courage and positivity serve as an inspiration to many, drawing support and well wishes from fellow celebrities like Tia Mowry and Selma Blair. As Dowerty continues to navigate her health journey, her unwavering strength and gratitude for life's blessings remind us to appreciate every precious moment and find resilience in the face of adversity. Doris Day, the dawn after Hollywood. Qui sera sera, whatever will be, will be these words, beautifully sung by Day, seem to encapsulate her life's philosophy. An icon of the 50s and 60s, she was America's sweetheart, a dynamic force in both singing and acting. Day ruled the big screen with her wholesome image and melodious voice, starring in romantic comedies with Rock Hudson and suspenseful thrillers with Alfred Hitchcock. However, in 1973, she surprised her fans by retiring from Hollywood. Instead, she chose to dedicate her life to a cause close to her heart animal welfare. She even founded her own organization, the Doris Day Animal Foundation, using her fame for good. Though Day passed away in 2019, her legacy as an exceptional actress, singer, and compassionate animal rights activist lives on. Greta Garbo, the epitome of Hollywood glamour, left an indelible mark on the golden age of cinema. With her captivating beauty and emotive performances in classics like Matahari and Anna Karenina, she enchanted audiences worldwide. However, in 1941, at the pinnacle of her fame, Garbo made a startling decision she disappeared from Hollywood entirely. When she famously uttered, I want to be alone in Grand Hotel. Despite her unexpected retirement, Garbo found solace in solitude, demonstrating that fame and success hold different meanings for each individual. Although her absence from the silver screen may puzzle many, her cinematic legacy remains immortal. Even today, the face that once mesmerized millions continues to symbolize the allure and mystique of Hollywood's golden age, a testament to Garbo's enduring influence on the world of cinema. Joe Pesci, renowned for his explosive performances and distinctive New Jersey accent, etched his name into Hollywood's history, especially with his roles in mob movies like Goodfellas. 
His portrayal of Tommy DeVito earned him critical acclaim, including an Academy Award. However, in a surprising turn, Pesci decided to step away from the limelight in the late 90s, opting to reduce his acting commitments and explore other interests. While he hasn't entirely disappeared from screens, Pesci's appearances have become increasingly rare, with notable reunions in films like The Irishman. Today, he seems content with his semi-retired life, finding solace and enjoyment on the serene greens of the golf course. After years of embodying intense characters, Pesci now embraces a quieter existence, savoring the peace that comes with his newfound leisure pursuits. Stacy Dash, a name that ignites debate. Now, on to the Clueless saga. Stacy Dash, renowned for her role in Clueless, which birthed a sitcom. Speaking of cluelessness, late 2022 saw her post a tearful video. Was it due to personal tragedy, the apocalypse, or people for the ethical treatment of animals enforcing a meat ban? Surprisingly, none. Stacy's tears were for Earl Simmons, whom she learned had passed a year prior. Yet, her disconnection from pop culture isn't the sole reason she's in the spotlight. Stacey Dash found herself canceled in Hollywood, owing to her unfiltered political stance. In 2012, she switched from Democrat to Republican, openly criticizing Obama and championing Trump. Hollywood, a liberal enclave, didn't take kindly to this. Dash's comments on Black History Month, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jesse Williams, and transgender rights sparked outrage. Despite later apologies, the damage was done. It remains to be seen if her career and reputation can fully recover. Alison Mack's name became synonymous with controversy, stemming from her involvement with Nexium, a purported multi-level marketing venture that masked a sinister reality as a sex cult. Despite her recognition for roles in various media projects, such as Smallville, Mac grappled with significant self-doubt, yearning for validation in her pursuit of stardom. In 2006, her quest for success led her to Nexium, where promises of realizing her aspirations lured her into a world of darkness. By 2015, Mac ascended to the role of deputy head within Nexium, entrusted with recruiting young women for the cult's leader. These individuals endured unimaginable suffering, subjected to starvation, branding, and torture, all under the guise of empowerment. However, Mac's involvement came to a halt in 2018 when the FBI intervened, resulting in her arrest. In exchange for leniency, she cooperated with authorities, contributing to the conviction of Nexium's leader. Despite this, Mac received a three-year prison sentence. Amber Heard, often at the center of controversy, faces public scrutiny due to her roles in films like All the Boys Love Mandy Lane and Justice League. Her tumultuous relationship with actor Johnny Depp has fueled negative sentiments among the public, stemming from allegations of abuse during their marriage. The couple married in 2015 but quickly parted ways, with Heard accusing Depp of physical, verbal, and emotional abuse. Depp retaliated by suing her for defamation over an article she wrote for the Washington Post. Their highly publicized trial from April to June 2022 shed light on the complexities of their relationship. During the trial, evidence and testimonies raised doubts about Hard's allegations, leading many to question her credibility. The jury eventually ruled in Depp's favor, awarding him significant damages, while Hard's reputation suffered, facing calls for boycotts of her films amidst ongoing controversy. Shelley Duvall, best known for her role as Wendy Torrance in The Shining, carved out a unique niche in Hollywood during the 1970s and 1980s. With her distinctive looks and remarkable talent, she captivated audiences in memorable films like Papier and Time Bandits, often stealing the show with her unconventional performances. 
However, after a series of television appearances in the 1990s, Duvall abruptly withdrew from the public eye. Opting for a quiet life in rural Texas, she made the courageous choice to prioritize her mental health over the lure of the Hollywood spotlight. Today, living a reclusive lifestyle, Duvall's decision serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of self-care in a world driven by fame and fortune. Her journey underscores the enduring value of finding peace and contentment. Billy D. Williams became synonymous with suave charm through his portrayal of Lando Calrissian in Star Wars, captivating audiences worldwide. Beyond the galaxy far, far away, his charisma graced films like Lady Sings the Blues and Mahogany, earning him acclaim. Approaching the late 90s, however, Williams' on-screen presence gradually diminished, with fewer notable roles. Despite a reprisal of Williams in Star Wars' Rise of Skywalker, his Hollywood appearances became sporadic. Now, in his 80s, Williams has embraced a quieter life away from the limelight, stepping back from acting. Nevertheless, his influence endures. Fans fondly remember his iconic portrayal of Lando, ensuring his legacy remains radiant. Retired from the screen, Williams's impact continues to echo, reminiscent of the stars that illuminate the vastness of the galaxy. Bridget Fonda, known for her unforgettable role in Single White Female, carved her path in 90s Hollywood with remarkable versatility. From chilling portrayals to action-packed performances, she captivated audiences with her talent. However, in the early 2000s, Bridget took a surprising turn. She opted to retire from acting, seeking solace away from the bustling Hollywood scene. Rumors speculate about her secluded life in a lavish palace in Los Angeles. But regardless of the truth, one thing remains clear Bridget has found contentment beyond the glitz and glamour. While her absence from the screen may leave a void, Bridget's choice to prioritize personal fulfillment over fame serves as a poignant reminder. Let's raise a toast to Bridget Fonda, a singular star who discovered her own palace amid the chaos of Hollywood. Jamie Lynn Sigler, best known for her role as Meadow Soprano in the iconic show The Sopranos, has faced a formidable foe off-screen multiple sclerosis. Diagnosed at the young age of 20, she grappled with the devastating impact of this disease on her life and career. In 2000, while filming Campfire Stories, Jamie Lynn experienced sudden paralysis lasting days, initially attributed to Lyme disease, but later correctly diagnosed as multiple sclerosis exacerbating life's challenges. Since her diagnosis in 2002, Jamie Lynn, now a mother of two, has embarked on a global quest for effective treatment options, refusing to surrender to the disease's grip. In a recent podcast, she shared her determination to find ways to live better with her condition, driven by her love for her children and her unwavering dreams and aspirations. As we delve into the stories of resilience, Jamie Lynn Sigler's journey stands as a testament to the indomitable human spirit, confronting adversity with courage and tenacity. Shannon Doherty, known for her roles in Little House on the Prairie and Charmed, faced a formidable opponent when she was diagnosed with breast cancer in March 2015. Undergoing aggressive treatment, including surgery, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy, she entered remission by April 2017. However, the battle wasn't over as the cancer returned in 2019, this time in stage 4, indicating its spread throughout her body. Despite the daunting prognosis, Doherty, who recently turned 52, has maintained a resilient spirit. She remains determined to fight and cherish every moment. Dougherty's courage and positivity serve as an inspiration to many, drawing support and well wishes from fellow celebrities like Tia Mowry and Selma Blair. As Dougherty continues to navigate her health journey, 
Her unwavering strength and gratitude for life's blessings remind us to appreciate every precious moment and find resilience in the face of adversity. Stacy Dash, a name that ignites debate. Now, on to the Clueless saga. Stacy Dash, renowned for her role in Clueless, which birthed a sitcom. Speaking of cluelessness, late 2022 saw her post a tearful video. Was it due to personal tragedy, the apocalypse, or people for the ethical treatment of animals enforcing a meat ban? Surprisingly, none. Stacy's tears were for Earl Simmons, whom she learned had passed a year prior. Yet, her disconnection from pop culture isn't the sole reason she's in the spotlight. Stacy Dash found herself canceled in Hollywood, owing to her unfiltered political stance. In 2012, she switched from Democrat to Republican, openly criticizing Obama and championing Trump. Hollywood, a liberal enclave, didn't take kindly to this. Dash's comments on Black History Month, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jesse Williams, and transgender rights sparked outrage. Despite later apologies, the damage was done. It remains to be seen if her career and reputation can fully recover. Thank you for watching my video. There are many other interesting things in the next videos. Please look forward to it. Thank you and goodbye.